What if I told you that increasing your website speed could only take you five minutes? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to boost your site speed in five minutes with image optimization and a powerful caching plugin. Don't let a sluggish website cost you web traffic and potential customers. So stick around to see how a simple tweak can dramatically improve your PageSpeed Insights score. First, I'm gonna to talk to you about image optimization for your website because images make up most of your website anyways. Then after that, we're gonna talk about downloading a speed optimization caching plugin. Let's get started. Now, before we get into any optimization techniques, let's first go ahead and check our current PageSpeed score with Google's PageSpeed Insights web tool. Just search PageSpeed Insights in your search bar and then click on this result right here. From here, you're just gonna copy your entire website URL and paste it into PageSpeed Insights. Now click Analyze. From here, you can see your current score as well as everything else that's causing your score to be reduced. Now, this video is only meant to take about five minutes of your time and get you a little bit better results. But if you're looking for a complete guide on how to speed up your website and how to understand all of this information that's down below in your website diagnostics, check out my comprehensive guide to speeding up your website video where I show you how to understand all of this information as well as actionable steps that you can take to maximize your score to its highest potential. And I'll go ahead and just leave a link down in the description. All right, so now that we have our score, let's go ahead and talk about image optimization first and then we'll get to caching. So let's go ahead and jump in right now. When it comes to image optimization, if you're uploading massive 4 4K images without optimizing them onto your website, you're just doing yourself a disservice, which is gonna cause a lot of problems in the future. Now, there are three ways that you can optimize your images for your website. You can choose the correct file format, you can select proper sizes for your images, and you can encode your images efficiently. So let's talk about the first. Choosing the correct file format for your image is the first step in optimizing your images. Stick to WebP or AVIF because those are the two file formats that Google recommends for websites due to their superior compression capability. Next, make sure you're paying attention to your image sizes. You don't need to upload images in 4K. That would take up way too much space on the server that your website is stored on, and it would take way too long to load to any visitors. Instead, upload a smaller version of the image to save space and improve loading time. After finalizing the format and size, compress your images even further. Use websites like TinyPNG to compress your images for free and to convert them to WebP simultaneously. Next, let's talk about caching. When you visit a website, your browser doesn't always load everything fresh from the website's web server. Instead, it stores some of that data that it's seen before, like images, scripts, or even entire web pages, in a storage space called a cache. So next time you visit a site, instead of going and fetching everything from scratch from wherever that web server is, your browser checks its cache first. If it finds what it needs there, it's gonna display the cache files to make loading take like a split second instead of like two or three seconds, which is an eternity in web design standards. It's like grabbing a snack from the kitchen instead of going all the way to the store. It's way quicker and easier. Now to enable caching on your website, simply just download a caching plugin. That's all you have to do. Let me show you how to do that right now using WP Rocket, just in case any of you aren't using using a light speed technology for your hosting. From your WordPress dashboard, we're just gonna go over to the plugins tab and we can click on add new right here. And we're actually not going to search for WP Rocket because we actually have to go to their website in order to download the plugin. We'll open up a new tab and we're gonna go to WP Rocket and we'll click right here. So now we're looking at the pricing for WP Rocket. Now you do have to pay for WP Rocket. It's not a free website speed video. You do need to purchase this service in order to use it, but I will tell you what, WP Rocket is the best plugin that I've ever used. So I'm gonna go with single. So it's $44 and you're increasing your website speed, which you know helps your website rank and everything like that. It's a big deal. So I'm gonna click on buy WP Rocket. From here, it's gonna ask for all of your information right here and your payment information. So as soon as you're done filling this out, just click on place order. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So give me a second. So now that we have an account, we're gonna click on download WP Rocket, just like this. It's gonna download that plugin file to our computer. And all we're gonna do is take this zip folder and just upload it to our website plugin tab. So back on your website, under the plugins tab, you have to click on add new, of course. We're gonna click on upload plugin. We're going to choose a file from our computer and I'm gonna go and find that zip file right here and click on open. And now I'm gonna say install. All right, so now that we've installed the plugin, we need to activate it on our website. So just click on activate plugin. All right, congratulations. You now have WP Rocket on your website. So let's go ahead and click on the settings tab right here. All right, so welcome to your WP Rocket dashboard. As you can see inside of WordPress, there's our dashboard. We have our WP Rocket dashboard and you'll always find it under settings and there's WP Rocket right there. So once you finally get inside of WP Rocket, let's take a look at the dashboard. I'll walk you through some basic settings 
things. And uh, that'll be about the extent of this tutorial because I want to try and keep it as close to five minutes as possible. Again, if you're interested in learning every single setting inside of this plugin, I go through all of it in my complete guide to website speed. Another thing, WP Rocket boasts on the fact that the second you install it, it's going to apply 80% of web performance best practices to your website. So right off the bat, if I didn't touch any settings and we go and check our page speed score, it should be way better. So now we have the plugin downloaded and it's activated. I'm also going to go back into my website, like I'm going to edit with Elementor and I'm going to replace these images with my optimized, reduced sized images that are now AVIF and not JPEG. And then we're going to go and check our page speed score. So I'm going to open up a new tab with page speed insights. So now we've got a ready page to go. So let's go and copy our URL. All right, so let's see what it is. We're going to copy our entire URL, control C, go to the new tab, paste, analyze. Wow, I can't believe we went from a 26 all the way up to a 98. That's unbelievable. And that's just with resizing our images as well as downloading a caching and speed optimization plugin. That is incredible. Now that's what I'm talking about. In just five minutes, we were able to get our website speed to increase and get a better page speed score with PageSpeed Insights. Now, like I said, this video is meant to boost your website speed in just five minutes. Obviously, there's a lot more to web design and website speeds that I can't cover in five minutes. If you want to learn more about how to boost your page speed score from what it is now all the way up to 90s and 100, check out my comprehensive speed video where I show you how to understand your full website diagnostic as well as how to fix any problem areas on your website. I cover everything you need to know like what server type your hosting provider is using, how the internet works, what a CDN is, and how to read your full website diagnostic from PageSpeed Insights. So if you're interested in learning more, go check out that video right now. I'll see you guys there.